Um, I want us to know that witchcraft or curses work and God is concerned about it. And that's why he said to Abraham, I'll bless you. This blessing must not be removed by anybody. Because it's from me. And he said, I'll curse, I'll bless those who bless you. Which means blessing yourself, even in your own right as a believer in God can bless another person. Amen? Amen? Amen. So you also have a blessing you can give. As long as you believe in God, you can bring down a blessing upon a person. And those were ministers in the word, especially appointed to do that. They just speak and it happens to you. So you've come here today. Believe me, I will say something. And it happened to you. And because some of you are God's people, I will also be blessed when I bless you. The Bible says, bless those who, I will bless those who bless you. And you curse. Those who curse you. Tell your neighbor, I bless those. God will bless those who bless you. What I found out in our society and other, other societies as well is that they're jealous. When they see other people having been Blessed. They are not happy. So, to bless somebody is a job of the spirit. Amen. Amen. And God pays you for it. Amen. Amen. How many of you understand? He will bless you for that job of blessing some. Have you understood? I'll bless those who bless you. I'll curse those who curse. Why does God get involved so much? He knows there's power in the spiritual world. And there's also negative power. That's why he instituted his church. And the Bible says, whichever place you set aside for me, to be worshipped, I'll come around and bless you. I won't just come around and do nothing. I'll come around and say words. And the angels will follow those words to ensure that your, your life is is uh, is happy is good busanyuka busanyusibwa bulungi is comfortable you in good health ngamuli balamu you have money ngamuli ne sente and and you are married properly ngamufumbidwa mu bufumbo bulungi obutukuvu and uh, you're generally happy you know you're healthy you're happy whatever ate ngamuli basanyufu there are times when the devil or maybe some people in the country, uh, I mean, uh, 
they, they, they curse people. Some don't, but uh, they do things which others use to curse. Amen. That's why I told uh, Jimmy to stop uh, making coffins. Because he was going to cast us all. So that <laughs> Jimmy wanted to cast us all so that he may become rich. So I told you, stop making coffins. Spare my life. But there are also some other people who make coffins. Who don't do anything wrong, but, but they make some indirect prayer. They make some indirect prayer. God, bless my job. <laughs> What does that mean? <laughs> Why are you going to pray? There are certain places, uh, certain road junctures, those spaces that in the Bible, I'm in, in, on the roads of Uganda. Where there are too many of people who make coffins. At that particular place. And even the names of the village. You know, like the drivers drive very fast there because the name of the village is Ndesebasima. Uh, <laughs> Those are indirect curses. I want those curses to, to stop. Being. Amen. Praise the Lord. How many of you understand? My my tamani wangu yangu tu nyonyole. Musumba kazi roka jani nyonyole, ebi gambo bino, ebi tandi se. Inge rinye rudi nini likoli ma? Wanga ina mwe manja kile chifocha ngi chikole, chitu me rinye riamu kama. Mukisa gua katuna gusabolo kubera kuchifo hicho. Mbetuwa zimbageti ya wakana, tuuza bantu nti walokoka. Netu ine nsonga lwa chitu awandika kwa walokoka. Kwandi wandi sekoto cha manga wana. Tewele tanga. Tulabe bulabi. Na hete tute kakevyo kwa tu wagalo mkisa. Tulabe bulabi. Hei. Hei kati. Kesho chizivu nyo. Tulenge rele. Na hei kati mulimu nevi fonga bina amanya. Wanofetuli baka kumpi wana. Na hei mutunulie business ya ziri kuchifocheba itamu naku. Walabe business ya ziri kola bene banga liye zima lako. Lia kola kwa business. Mweza kwa mwaka. Eba ya mani nyo. Uli akole la kechi ndu chibela o miezi. Miezi ya wanga ya dala munaku. Na abe la kwa munaku. Na abe kole la kwa banaku. Chifuerini ya lichifana na. God bless you. Katunda na mga manti nja kuwa mkisa. Eme? Amina. And I curse those who curse you. I bless also those that will come after you. Aba kuwa mkisa. Nja kuli mira. Aba kuli mira. So Abraham may have been praying. Naba kuwa nabawali nja bawa mkisa. May have been saying. Abraham may have been saying. Ibrahim may have been saying. Now what about those grandchildren of mine that I've brought into this, uh, this what do you call it, uh, covenant of Jati. demons? Because if you belong to a clan, 
You would say, Nedira Kobe, Sidia Sid Quatako. Or Ira no Gamba no Gamant is the Nedira Kobe, Sidia Sid Quatako. Avan and Abazukuru. No, no, you call I eat Obakuita. Omu Dirochi. Ulamia, no Kulanya. Avan and Abazukuru. No Gamant, Avan and Abazukuru. Omu Zero. Omu Zochi. Kobe. Now you see. If you say that those words, you involve also your own grandchildren into a curse. Amen. Amen. That's not based on God. Have you understood? And that's why the Jews now are being hit from time to time. They are suffering non-stop. Because Pilate asked them uh, who is going to be uh, paying for, for this? I mean, upon whom should this be? Who is going to be accused of uh, this? Me, I am not uh, accusing you of anything. I'm not judging you. I'm not going to judge you. But who shall my judgment go to? And he said to, uh, to, me, to us, we kill the judgment of killing Jesus. Maybe upon us and our children. Even today, many, many thousands of years after. 3,000, 2,000. The Jews have never been in peace. There was a, an, there was a time they scattered over the world, and finally, in 1948, they became a nation. But upon becoming a nation, there was an enemy who had to stay around to fulfill the judgment of Pilate. Amen. Amen. Have you understood the 1948 Palestine? had to be there as uh, Israel's enemy and Hamas and others all these people it's very difficult to be in a country like that I don't want to be in Israel myself do you want to be in Israel? Maybe in heaven, but here on earth. We don't want to be, we can be with them, we can be their brothers in, because of our faith. But we'd rather live elsewhere. I uh, lived in Uganda. And see them from a distance. <laughs> Have you understood? Because they've never had peace. They curse themselves. But we can pray for them. We are praying for them. But even the faith is changing. They don't like Jesus at all. So we say as we're praying. I used to be a bad man myself. I used to be a nazist. But you, you forgave me. So in the same way, forgive Israel. That's how we pray. Amen. Pray the Lord. So you can see. You can bring a curse upon your children. Today, I want us to fight those curses. Each one of you. The offering that we're going to give today is going to be a sacrificial offering. Amen. Amen. 
It is what we are going to give so that we may be cleansed of the curses brought upon us by our grandfathers. In our own context, there are so many curses that came upon us. And there are some people who think that they're just imagination. But, you know, Sayuni Adieri, a witch doctor, uh, cursed her and she remained sick for eight months in a coma. She has slept in a coma for eight months. Until one day she was brought here. Actually, what works? Kaungezi. And she was on a stretcher. A stretcher. And there were some uh, attendants who were very much worried. Because they were bunyoro. I want you to think about that. Why, where, were they, where, where, where was she coming from? Eh? Bunyoro. Bunyoro. There are many witch doctors over there. Why didn't they take her to those ones? You knew that their solution uh, in removing curses is only in the hands of God. Because those demonic curses are very deep sometimes. They can crush your bones. They can make you blind. They can make you unfortunate in everything you do. And they can make it impossible for you to work. Even if you study and do very well as well, you may fail to get a job because of a curse. There are some months here in Uganda where there are more accidents than in other months. Why? Which doctors want you to realize that you are insecure? So, they, so you go to them for, instru- for, for protection and for instructions and for instructions apart from the instructions of God. Today, I want us to think of that sacrificial offering. There are some people who go on talking, talking that there's no power that the devil can use against you. If that were true, Jesus would have sent me saying among those things he's told me to do. Tell them I'm the greatest power in all heaven and earth. Tell them to leave witchcraft and come back to me. That is very dangerous for them to to be into witchcraft. They are in the middle of, a, of curses. Curses by God. And even curses from each other. Tell them to leave that area. And come back to me. Jesus is the one who wants, who be, who receive you and never be jealous of you. Yes, Amen. Amen. He's not jealous of your development. He's looking at you as, as somebody wants to bless and bless and bless. Amen. Amen. That you may live in health. That you may be happy. So she was brought here. And I told her, 
She couldn't hear me very well, but I told other people around her. And they asked. And said, this one is not like this. To die, in order to die, he's here. she's like this, so that the gospel may be, a revival may, 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 may sprout out, may come to Bunyoro. Ono tajja kufa ajja kubera mulamu okuddo obujja kusobola okubera nga kubaluka wera kusasana mbunyoro from the miracle of healing okuva mu chama gero chine cho kuonyeze bwakwe because i knew certainly it was witchcraft there was wanga mu bulingeri nali nchimanye de dalanti yali mu rwadde bwato wa dogo i was sent to fight satan atena natumibwa kulwanyisiwa satan so i kicked that demon out kati ne mugoba mu muzimu ogwa mulimo and she was healed na onyeze bwa now, to, to, to show you that the devil is wrathful. He is wrathful. After six months and he had that she been healed, he said, I'm going to kill her and heal her. And the healer. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You know very well the testimony about Sayuni Adeli from Bunyoro. This lady had been bewitched. Ere ya Muroga, Badiba Muita, Rubia Manengo was called Rubia Manengo. Ono Yari Musamizenga, Wakuga Mantino, or Wario to Genda Kuzibia, and Tosibia. Such a witch that if he declared that you would not live, Bunyoro Yenanga, a Mumani. The whole of Bunyoro knew him. Gabamita, Rubia Manengo. He was called Rubia Manengo. What does it mean? It means he that sleeps Nengo. with the leopard. So by the time they brought her here, she was so thin. You can't imagine how she was. She was like the AIDS victims of the days. They were also very thin. So thin that even the head would grow thin. One time I went to preach the gospel down there. In 1988. There was a man that I found. He had bought his coffin and he had put it under his bed. He told me that I've already bought my coffin. It is under my bed. So when I saw Professor telling Jimmy not to, Jimmy, to make coffins, Jimmy doesn't make coffins, but he makes very beautiful chairs. So if you don't have chairs, be, be it the dining or sofa, Jimmy is, is an experienced carpenter. He can make for you any type of chair that president, you want. Even when you go to the president and see a beautiful chair that you admire, just take a photo of it and give it to him. He will make it for you. Uh, but however he got he's educated, he got another <laughs> bachelor's degree. So um, to continue with my story, the man told me that I've already bought my coffee. We preached to him and he confessed to Christ. But since he had already put his faith in action, there was nothing we could do for him. He got saved, but the next day he died. And he was put in his coffin. But Sayuna Adieri was also in that kind of situation. She was so thin. When she was brought here, Professor prayed for her. And that lady started getting strength. She got up. What happened next? You know what happened? 
the Lord is so interesting. The message went back to Rubia Manengo. And the man asked, who is, who is it that has healed my person? Ladies and gentlemen, you cannot know the enemies on your village. Someone can curse you because of your height. And this daughter of ours. And they curse you because of your height. Someone can see you with a beautiful smile and curse you. Someone can see you smart. And that alone is enough to annoy them and they curse you. So the man declared that within seven days, Sayun Adir would be dead. And the pastor that had prayed for her would also be dead. And the message was brought back to Professor. He replied and said, If I die on the seventh day, you will die on the eighth day and you'll be buried. Praise the Lord. So what happened? was very strange because on the seventh day fire came from heaven and burnt the witch, witch doctor. And this fire is so interesting because it even entered all the witchcraft that he had in his boxes without burning the clothes. This what is so intelligent so was so intelligent that it picked out only the witchcraft in the boxes and burnt only those. And after burning the witch doctor, he was taken to another witch. But um, uh, uh, all along, yeah. Parts, parts of his body we are falling apart in pieces and people are his flesh all along. Praise the Lord. I believed that nuclear bombs are there. Our God possesses nuclear bombs as well. Praise the Lord. Otherwise it's very strange for a human body to break up in Praise the Lord. Some of you are afraid of Psalm 35. How many of you have read Psalm 35? Or how many of you read it? Some of you are afraid of it. But there is a verse in that uh, Psalm which is it says Interesting. he delights in the prosperity of his servants. Uh, Someone, someone project for us that verse. Psalm 35. It says he delights. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Which verse is that? 27. Uh -huh. He says, let them shout for joy and be glad who favor my righteous cause. And let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servants. How many of you love that verse? How many of you have liked it? Where is it? It's in Psalm 35, verse 25. How many of you don't like that psalm? If you have never read that psalm, it means that you've never been in trouble. Nuclear weapons have never been used. Except in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, where they used that bomb. bomb. They used an atomic bomb. But uh, the nuclear bomb was spared for. 
that if you are afraid that any time you can be destroyed. Even Russia was like, if any time someone attempts to destroy us, we can use the nuclear bomb. The Bible says that we don't war against flesh and blood, but against principalities. So the fire that burnt this man was that kind of fire. However, God was right existential threat. If professor had been killed, it means that even the church was going to perish. But the Lord <laughs> got some of his weapons. God loves you so much that if there is anyone that wants to destroy you, he will come up with the weapons to destroy them. God can, <laughs> can use the weapons that he used to protect Sayoni. The Bible says that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But they are strong in the Lord. Even curses are real. That's why even the day gold called Ibrahim, he talked about it. He told him that I'll bless those that bless you and I'll curse those that curse you. Those two, God, either together, we are either blessed or cursed. But the Lord told him that I'll curse those that curse you and I'll bless those that bless you. And it is the blessing that brings about a difference. Esau was not blessed. Jacob was blessed. But this is what the Lord said. Uh, 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 Jacob have I blessed Esau have I hated so that's why today we would say he's a God of Abraham God of Isaac and God of Esau because of the laws in the Bible because every firstborn belongs to the Lord but because of the blessing the blessing made the last the firstborn. Hallelujah. So the blessing can bring about a difference, a difference, difference in your life. So if you bless someone, it can happen. Born again, let us learn to bless others. We are called to bless. God has blessed us and he wants us to bless others. Do not ever indulge in cursing others. But bless them. Even in your words, bless others. Bless your pastors. Bless your children. Never ever get, in, get involved in a council so, where your pastor is cursed, where your wife is cursed. If someone talks ill of your wife, run away. Because if you cursed your spouse, you would have cursed yourself. Never indulge in meetings where uh, the children of God are cursed. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. I usually tell people. One time people attacked me asking me so many questions. But I them, is it good to do bad or good? Professor Kai was stood with someone that was going through a turmoil. was stood with someone that was going through a turmoil. He told them that you go to the good and leave the bad to me. Because he knows that when he blesses them and them well, tomorrow they will be very different. A blessing can transform a bad person tomorrow and they become a good person. Uh, 
I was giving a testimony on Friday as I was preaching. There was a woman that had been um, bewitched. And she was smelling. She had a bad stench. Even in Lusa, there we had a woman. Whenever she passed, even after 30 minutes, you would feel the stench on the grass and everywhere. And you would know that it, she's either coming or she has passed. But even this lady who came to the counseling room in such a condition, we are here to thank God for the man of God that cannot chase our people. He prayed for the lady. And when she came out of the room, they had to spray <laughs> the room. Because the stench was too much. You would even ask the professor what he had killed. I am telling you there are spells in this world. But because God is interested, when the lady came back to the counseling, no one ever got to no, that she had come back because the curse had been removed. And this has happened to so many people. It has happened to so, so many people. People have testimonies. But when she came, Professor blessed her. If a person that is blessed blesses you, you'll be blessed with it. And sometimes they don't even need to scream. They just pray for your blessing. God bless you and it happens. This lady no longer had that stage. Let us take this message seriously. And if we are praying, we should be serious. We should get into We should find serious. We should get into We should be serious. We should get into We should be serious. We should fight. There are sometimes you see a tendency that is common in your life. That is not the work of God because the, the Lord promises that he will raise us from glory to glory. He promised us life and life in abundance. So just begin to wonder why you are not enjoying abundant life. Speedy governor. Speedy governor. Speedy governor. Echitekechikondo Ati boya galo kufuge motoka iyo boya galo kufuge ngam speeding kaga oteka mas speedi governor eba jisvi la mas speeding kaga oline boya galo kufuge kaga mwe bidi tese wala kutoka yoku bangi ba mo governor ati no bula mo musumba kwa ungeza tu gamba busa bolo kwa kusi speedi governor boenga ne boya kora boto kama atano mo ba kusi bida ngaka kadi lokava boto kama na mo enda ngaka kadi lokada boto kama atano ngaka kava banango chivuli de. So that the devil can come slowly and put speed governors in our lives. Even when you want to run very fast, you cannot. Personally, I used to fall sick every Christmas. Whenever I ate and got satisfied, I would fall sick. <laughs> <laughs> and I knew it. <laughs> when I was still young, I would fall sick. <laughs> every excited. Whenever I got excited, speed governor. that was my speed governor. I had to fall sick every week. And I know how. Pleasant. The back of the mother is. Because my mother used to take me to hospital. 
There was, and I think it is still there. Hey, There's a hospital in Chisani. So my mother would put me on, on her back and take me to hospital Nefes during Amin's regime. But one thing I remember about that regime is that we never, never met any Chikos, any Muyae. But every week I was called sick. So that was the speed governor in my It is very bad for you. You need to search your life to search your life and find out where the speed governors governors are. And if you discover those speed governors, wage war. Because that is the reason why Jesus Christ appeared. Hallelujah. So, so that you can destroy all the works of the devil. That is why we got saved. And that is why we have the men of God around us. That there is no witch doctor who can touch and they can quote some scriptures. There's no curse against Israel. Why? It's not because an Israeli or local cannot be cursed. But because the Lord has established a solution. Amen. That we can pay our sacrifice, offer, sacrificial offering. And I will explain that so, so in, a, in a moment. All tithes and offerings. God does not say your yes is cursing you if you don't do that. But you're exposed to a curse if you don't tithe. Amen? Amen? Because the curses are all around and there's so many. But if you don't tithe, you have, it's an exposure to curses around. We pay tithes and offerings and also other types of uh, seeds and whatever so that there may be protection against the powers of Satan. Amen? Amen. 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 So, let me just tell you, now, that girl, uh, you know, they gave us seven days to kill us. And Sayun, the witch doctor knew the world in his heart. That he had a negative power in himself to kill people. There are some people around you who know that they have a negative power. They can destroy you. Because the, the devil came but to still kill and destroy you. He doesn't have to come out physically and kill you. But he destroys you spiritually. He can kill you spiritually. And he can bring physical danger to you physically. Amen? Amen? You see, now, for example, even God can do it. Because I think the Lord asked me recently and about some about uh, Ukraine. For a long time I did not have any answer. Until they asked me on television about it. Then I told them that America is trying to spread uh, 
homosexuality. The Lord won't allow it to happen. Yesterday I was in a big meeting at Fido Dido, Fido Dido for many pastors and leaders and uh, I told them that if you don't raise, if you don't receive power because, because they invited me that um, they may get an impartation there are very many there are very many. And I told them, if you don't get an impartation, which doctors will kill you? Your brothers and sisters will kill you. Because there are things that their father left behind. And some of you suffer more when your parents are dead than when they are there. Because some of your brothers go out into witchcraft and try to kill you. I was, a teen, I was in a place somewhere in a relative's home where man had died. Dr. C and I, uh, the one that uh, had written a will and we, it was near hand. And, and we wrote it together with her before she died. Now while the body was still in the sitting room, one of my cousins took me aside and said to me that she was going to be a church to build a church in that place. And I said, how are you going to build it? You know, all my brothers and sisters will die and I remain here alone in charge of this property. That, that, that surprised me so much. Here is somebody who grew up you know, same home with me. You want all these ones to die now? She did not know that I had the will. She didn't know. I didn't tell her anything about what she said. I didn't respond. But my mind told me she's a bad girl. Amen? There are some bad people all around you. So bad that they want the whole family to die so that they may take this and that. From them. That's why I hate tribes. Being a tribalist. Tribal leaders want other people to be suppressed so that they may be the only ones in the world. In charge of the yes. The white people are doing, are doing that too. It's like witchcraft thinking that way. That African people must die so that we take over everything. Amen. Amen. You understand? Even in this country, our brothers and sisters, you see them conducting services. And then cursing church after church. They want to remain alone. In the the only ones. Maybe, maybe they're the ones who cast me and I went to meet Jesus. And then he said to me, Wamaka, you are going to
Have you understood? The, uh, they are everywhere. You got enemies everywhere. So, uh, what do they do? What do they do? Um, you see, you they want to de to destroy you. And we would have died uh, under the curse of that witch doctor. Can you imagine for doing a good job for Sayun? I was, I was cursed. I was cursed because I had prayed for her and she got healed. So he attacked even somebody she didn't know, me. So in seven days he said I was going to die. I had to speak against the seven days. Amen. Tell your neighbor, you, I had to speak against those seven days. Mulirano Mugambe, Wakanya Chikoli Mechena Kuomasanvu, Chisazem. Amen. Pray the Lord. I have to speak against the seven Maybe days. Maybe for you it was three days. Maybe for you it was a castle. In one year you will be dead. Or in one month. I want you to say now. I've got a word. To destroy. The curse. Of seven days. Even for more, you can't say those words of yours. Your experience, a shout. You say. <laughs> Banko limira, ntisiri gagawara, na eni nechigambo, echi sazamu, echi korimo, echi obu avu. Banko limira, tingenda kubunda bunda, na yoru warero ni nechigambo, echi sazamu, okubunda bunda. Banko limira, ntisiri soma, ngori mwana aliwano, na yoru warero ni nechigambo, echi sazamu, obuta soma, nzenja kufoma kusoma. Banko limira, ntisiri funamolimu, na yoru warero ni nechigambo, echi sazamu, obuta kola, nzenja kukola, nja kugagawara, nja kubera wamany, nja kuwala ama wanga, sija kweona. Banko limira, ntisiri laba kumuzukuru, na yoru warero. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, so uh, what is spiritually powerful as a curse? Needs your fight in a spiritual way, spiritual way. Uh, that uh, is uh, backed up by something physical. Amen? Have you understood? Uh, and that thing is called a sacrifice. And Abraham understood it by sacrificing his son. Abraham understood what a sacrifice involves, you endure the loss of something. Write down. You endure the loss of something. Tell your neighbor that. You endure. endure. No fear, which into a chirunji. And that's what Jesus did also. Yes, what a chia to call it, God. 
Katonda. Sacrifice to the comfort of his son in heaven. He endured the pain of his son. Amen. Amen. endured the pain of his son. He endured the pain of his son. So that his wish of our salvation may be fulfilled. Amen. That is how spiritual wars are fought. You see, when I was given this place to live in, the Lord, I mean, I, I told the Lord, give me a very beautiful place, but give me also uh, the way, if you give me money, give me people who will eat it. Who giving it to. And when I tell your neighbor, give me the people. Benazwa. That I'll give that money to. To offset the problems that they have. Am I making sense? Professor Agambi, Tesare Kola Makuru Masoga Katonda. Yesare Fana Nabueto. Timukama wo mu save chintu. Muteke reko naka kwa kuriza kalala. Bobo Saba sent a Mogament in Kaman Sabon Pes sent in Gagawarenio, Nayon Pene Abant, Bena Sobolo Kuzuako, Bagonjo Revi Zibu Yawe, Esala and Gayo, Ekola Makuru Maso Gakatona. Tell your neighbor, Mudirano Amoga, these words, Evigambo Vino, Gabanga Kubin Tubio, share your blessings with other people. Soto Kubanga Chi. Gabanga could be in two Share. So talk about Gamma Vuchi. Your things. Junior. Other people. Junior. Agambi Professor Anti Gabanga could be in two view. Nayo Mavu Tomokubanga and Kona. Abantubanji Baba de Navy in two. Mukamanga Baba Devi in Tunga Baba Dov Gaga Baba Devi Runch. Nayo Moon to Omavu Nagain to Bassa be saint. Never gone and never gone in a dollar. By Buria to Gamantino to Murirano, Wavatarina Chakuria, Najana Concone Chiro, Gaku Gamanja, Numa, Sidina Chakuria, Navana Vangabari, and Ovacava, Tomogamba and Gakurinda would debuche, Murirano, Womgamba would Arindo would dobuche, Gavana Vacava and Jala, Ovomukubi and Kona, Echomkama Chaturabula, and Tetukuanga Bavu and Kona. Navy of Yatu what day. To be governing university, Kaiwa International University uh, is, I think, the cheapest university in fees. Kaiwa International in University, Uganda. university, yeah, Cassins of Sabbath Saint in Tony Nyom, Uganda. Eight hundred thousand shillings. chinana. A semester. Buri semester. That is much smaller than a child's fees at. Uh, Mango here. The saint is on tono nyo, tono nyo. No kusinga zeva sasula ane mango says. How much do they pay at mango? Vasa sula saint is meka mitwa millioni. Chenda mona ana. Chenda mona ana. E millioni. At mango says. Atenga what day? A university. Abwa na what day? When a mango SS, Asa Sule Mitualo Chenda Monana, Nekaiwa International University, Mitualo Chinana. And then we also give some people bursaries. We give some people some bursaries. And they pay 400,000 a semester. Can you imagine? Where's Kawesa? Kawesa Alua. Where is Jemima? Where is Jemima? 
Can you stand up where uh, Jemima? Jemima or now she you made it up. She, she's a very educated woman with a bachelor's degree. Muchara mm moyivo yo yafuna ne digiri. In accounting. Mukubara ebitabo. But but I gave her a free bus. So she doesn't she didn't pay anything all the three years. Neye okusoma ko nako ya soma te ya sasura ya de chikumi. I had to endure sacrificing for the poor. Amen? Nagumi ikiriza. University ya feso mere mwa baba bata ina sent. Now, Kawesa came, you know, like a, like an ego. Kati Kawesa ye na ja. Ngari nganga bora be mpungu. Na nyakula vunyaku zi. And took my most well-baked piece of meat. If Kawesa does not want to sacrifice, what kind of personage is it? Can you tell me why you did that to me? Can you tell me why you did that to me? I look, I look at him every day. And I tell him, can you send me some mobile money? <laughs> can you send me some mobile money? Can you send me some mobile money? you send me some mobile money? Can you send me some Welcome, Professor, to so Mesa Okongeri Joker Gawalam. Professor Chamazima, see Nasima, your own colleague. Demona, they were a bit on Jeda Nangi Nabida. A children in a child, a children, your children, just so many away. So, during the time when I interned in by then we were just uh, friends, and later we started dating. So, I was still just a friend to her, young man, I was still a friend to her. So in the and the Tulaba Makere University, it is high. In the Tulaba Ndeje University, Iran and I sent a zero goal. But surprising in that very in that very year, Professor, that's when we are attending this university. So, ne mu ne mu ne mu gamba. No, you can continue with further education. Go again the Mukaiwa International University. Ne mu gamba. It is affiliated to uh, <laughs> You know how much I pay to, to the chancellor? I pay every month 25 million. Chancellor, Mosasula Million, I have been in the town over the ways. I know other chancellors are paid that the same way in the country. Ngaba Chancellor, Vice Chancellor. Best chance. Omo Mioka was saying, Kuruwa University. As a sub million, I have any more time. Who paid for you? Guania Kusasurida. All the teachers are, are going to be paid money. I have a summa savona by no Kusasuru saint. I better tell you people Munyambe Kom Gamane Kavia. Ye Kavia. Rajta Videka. Oh, Mukaza Fana Guachu. Mukama Eva's way. Mukama Eva's way. Never as a Mukama, Kubanga, I graduated from Kaiwa International University. Actually, the pioneer, the pioneer, Kuchin, too. By that time, actually, we are the best man you want in your university. I got a hand, you can't get enough vibe, you know. Yes, I say, go by my careers and wing, I say, go by dangers and mock it. Nadia got to gain the night, never some come and champ a chance. I took university, sing a jumtana, jumtana, take it. Tinunji, 
Name Kama Jababi Kudia Kuanga, a Bion Moye, Biabo Abamani, a Bion Moyo. Kama Evers way. Of course, I pray to God and He gave me that way. Kama Evers way. Invest in Empa Bursary. Yes, we used to pay some money, of course, functional fees, Muzimani. I was given an, an opportunity and I did BBA, specialized in finance and accounting. Yes, come about. Yeah. At least that one is evangelizing for the university. university. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe chance of Kongerezako. By the way, means of was an emugaman to honor him, so I take it at Chantino, where Biasoma be together. But at, at least we, I try to, we used to discuss some things, Nampane Kumagis, Edimu Camp and Jane Korea, because we used to make financial reports. But whenever, after the discussion with Ang, our Indian Gavagama was so many our accounts. So, <laughs> It was the discussion with her which made me really on the other side. Hallelujah. Thank you. Yes. Kama yeba zwe. Okuongele zako. Kama yeba zwe. Professor Chatu Gamba. Nchatu uo mukisa na yetu muri yako. Let's do something. Let's advertise the university. Put it in your emotional heart. This man has served God. He stands with the poor, but not the poor, with the heart of what? Of a generous person. Now let's stand with him. You could do something on online, but stand with him in heart. Hallelujah. I want to give this to Mrs. Kamia. Because her husband used to drive my car, drive me. Even when he was sick. I cannot forget. So I've to do it in public. The sentence is more than one number. Amen. But if you give one ten thousand shillings, have you really paid? Nemo gave me two hundred gumudar obo gaviye. Obo gaviye. This is zira kuzoli no bolia. When I've got to pay a chancellor twenty five million. Ninuksa sula. And others. And the same way with other universities. Na ba some sa na ba ntu abakoza balara. You know what I'm going through. Mama ni chempita mumwe. And then you want me to be here every day counseling you. Hallelujah. Amen. Pray the Lord. Amen. So, a, a sacrifice is very important. You should write this word down for yourself. Let me tell you the reason. Some of the reasons why I sacrifice and give what I have to God. Either some men who didn't get saved. Some men who didn't get saved. I've got to pay a lot of school fees because they've got many wives and many children. And they almost die. Many doctors, friends of mine, professors are dying because there's too much to pay in fees to the different women that And some have got to spend a lot of money in drinking and smoking. But Jesus set me free from all that. My children are all educated now. I don't have any. But there are no children elsewhere. Tell me, can you, how many of you 
have got other wives that you got to pay the children for. <laughs> oh, how many of you have husbands like that? They are now paying, after paying for 10 children in this family, the people and eight ones there. Eight one three, so when Jesus saves you, he has paid for you. <laughs> the money you have spent in drink. The money you spend in drink. And smoking and whatever. Now he has paid for you. By calling you to be saved. Can you tell somebody that? That is one of the things of sacrifice. One of the things in the sacrifice of Jesus. Amen. So to sacrifice is to endure the loss of something. The devil has lost that money you, you have spent on those kids. It was too late for, for Kazdiro. He came after some of those women that had kids, not so. Too late or this true? Do you have other children? None. Can you stand up and dance for us? For Jesus. <laughs> All of us must praise God. For elsewhere, we would have spent money. But now, because Jesus set us free, we are, no, we are no, no, no longer sinners. What sin means? You pay expensively. You also commit crimes and go to prison. And then your family has to be impoverished trying to take you out of prison. Amen. All these things. So I'm asking a Pastor Sam to dance for us. Because Maybe you would have been in prison. Uh. <laughs> so when you're dancing for the Lord, you should be having that meaning in your dance. When you're sacrificing to God, sacrificing to God and you say, I'll give to, to, to Kaiwa International University 10 million per month. There's a reason. The witchcraft that would have killed you. Amen? The witch doctors. You see, she was very ill, and the doctors said she was going to die. She had clothes everywhere in the major organs of her body. Can you stand up? And such a woman would have died. Amen? But 
she called me at night. She knows that I have God's unction on me. Amen. She sent me when she was in a very terrible condition. That message. And I, and I sent her a smiling picture of me. And all the clothes disappeared. So that's because your life is from God. That's the real type. Ah, that's not enough. <laughs> Where is Kaziru? Musumba Kaziru raze wajango igiri zekansi mama zina. Okay, dance together because she can't dance. Musine kare. Dance together. Uba musina chinyaru anda uba musina chichi musine. You understand the meaning of worship? Now is Zina. Neka wesa atwega teko. Kawesa umlala. Yango atwega teko. Aneda. Kaziro. Atwega teko. Musumba Kaziro na uwega teko. Mugenda kuna mazina. Mwerene chinta bulecha mazina. Mwari 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 Pray the Lord. Come, I Mary, Maria, your father was going to die. Tata, we are again to kufa. Come. Now we jango zine. Jango, jango, mama. Tata, we are again to kufa. Ne kaziro, now we are. Ne kaziro koma o, musumba kaziro. Tata, we are here for the. We got to amu. Muta andiko kutuzinya kumalo. Okuz, okuzinya katonda mazina. Muzini re katonda na mumu e raza. Imagine value. You can imagine something of value as me. The devil wanted to kill with a simple disease. But the Lord protected me. So we must pray. They will hear your mind. Mind. Oli ndiga yangu wa nusitoni mfumbo an. Yangu. I think they will have many more sinners. They will have young. But there is a lot of people who are in Sony. In Sony, they will have young. They will have young. They will have young. They will have young. Okay. Now we want this one to dance for us. They will have young. They will have young. They will have young. Ndagala wakatu onda wangi enangi ya njagala Watu kubile ngalo njimbe njimbile katonda Ngane waza katonda umula mwakoza bine bine ne Watu mebale ya koza niyo Kona kungome une zinile katonda Ngane waza katonda umula mwamutegesi Nasokende waza katonda umula mwaganda wangi Kume ya teka teka bine rabitu I'm 
But the Lord uh, saved them. Now, because this, this, this is very important, I want to be quick and go through the points. Uh, so, uh, sacrifice means you can kill what you have. Men? You can kill, you know, like he was going to kill Se, Se, what? Se, Isaac. Or destroy. By that pain, then God will bless you. There's something you must kill. Maybe there's a car that you must sell so that the university may be able to go on. Amen. You know, the Jews, in, the, in their case, animals were sacrificed. Not just simple things, but animals were sacrificed. Sometimes the animals are so important. Me, I love animals so much. Several dogs and whatever. Ka hens. Goats. But also I'm looking after birds whose names and origin I don't know. In my garden, I've got plates fixed on poles where I've got I put seeds. Nina, before and sigo. And and also water in little jars. Nama zi mubujago buto. So that birds I don't know may come. Kati ebinyo ni vyesi mani mani ana jebi vavi. When they are thirsty to drink. Ngaviri ne nyonta vinyo amazi. And to eat. Ate vidi emere. They're just like the beggars that meet on the street. I don't know their names. Men? But I help them. Because, because the spirit of God is like that. Men? He feeds the birds of the air. Tell your neighbor that. So when I want to pray for money, I go to that, that place where I put those things. I say, Lord, you're feeding the birds of the air. But now I'm feeding them also for you. Feed me too. Have you understood? What about a human being? How much more God will be happy if you fed somebody you didn't know? I paid for a Jemima. She paid for Jemima. Before I learned her name. 
for quite some time, uh, almost until her graduation. I wanted her to be a happy woman with a degree. And that's why I established a degree, a university here. I realized in America, those universities ask for like twenty thousand dollars a semester. Which is a lot of money. You don't have to go to America to get equal education. Amen. I was, I was teaching in that kind of place. And they were paying me a lot of money too. Every week, like $6,000. $6,000. $6,000. And that's a lot of money again. There are some women who came in America and cried. They were stopped from entering my class. Some women in America. She's not allowed to come in because she cannot pay fees. Can you imagine that? In the same way. We have to establish a place here where people can study cheaply but get a lot. University, Amen. Amen. Because I trusted that you are the kind of people who can support it. Amen. Amen. How many of you will support it? Put up your hand. Shall and we close we the on university on. Or, shall we, or will you support us? How many of you will support us? And it could be a sacrifice. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, even Uganda is sacrificing their soldiers to save people in other countries. I heard that some of our soldiers went to Israel to fight on the side of Israel. Did you hear it? Did you hear it? I saw one soldier saying that he just come back a little bit and will go back. In this country, too. And, I, and also sacrifice, so important. Some people had to go to the bush and real die so that we be in peace here. On this very village, I was told that the soldier said that he just come back a little bit soldiers came back, we began to have sugar. Now, I got, I mean, like, the whole village got two bags. But because I knew some people, government would give me two bags too. Here. So they reported me. How come Kaiwa was given two bags of sugar? But look at what's happening now. Is there anybody who is, who wants to accuse you, wants to, to take you, uh, to, 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 to report you to government because you got a lot of sugar in your house? Because some people sacrificed to a point now the whole country have got enough sugar. Amen. Amen. People were nearly killed. Some others were killed. And then others say that hey, but fame in Segura Mirambo. You see, so make a sacrifice in order that the Lord also will recognize that you are a good hearted person. Jesus, I mean, God, when, when Abraham gave, sold or gave. He sacrificed. 
Ibrahim we are why Sadaka. The angel said, Don't kill your child. Now I know you fear God. Amen. Because you are enduring loss of your son. Now we are selling education at a loss. Eh? Turn your neighbor. We are selling education at a loss. Amen? So that act of losing and surrendering something as a penalty for one reason or another that is a very, very good thing. Amen? Uh, Mary, your you're married now, but I was almost deciding because I had suffered so much for you to be educated. I thought you and Deborah and others, they should not take my kids away without being punished mm. with a lot of money in order they may pay back my sacrifice. That's official days. Come and tell us about it. <laughs> you are a preacher, and you, I don't, I can't spare you. You can't spare you. You Professor, <laughs> I told you she's a preacher. Can you clap for her? So, tell your neighbor for faith, for feature. For feature. That is what sacrifice is. For feature of something personal. I know she's tired, but. He is sacrificing her to get tired here, interpreting for me. Pray the Lord. Okay, you've also sacrificed some time to listen to me. I'm also going to fight against the power of witchcraft. Amen. Amen. When I just began ministry, I was surprised that Powers used to attack me, and I too, I pray to the Lord that when, when I pray for people, I don't want those powers to come back and attack me. And whenever I did that, I got those problems in my body and everything. But the Lord showed me that those were sacrificial days. Suffering for others. Because days to come were going to be blessed days. Amen. Amen. So I'm asking you to realize that some people can kill people. When I know that somebody can be killed, I always invite you to fast and pray that you may not die. You may not die. Vida is the last example I want to give uh, who was going to die. Because she, her family were enfolded in witchcraft. 
Now she was getting married to somebody they didn't like. So she was away from us for some time. She was a member of the choir. And then I saw that, and then people came to, to, to the choir. As we're closing the choir practice, I saw somewhat six to eight angels in the choir. They were with us, seated, but with which chairs, I don't know how they got those chairs, came with them. Then I asked them, what are you here for? One of them came forward. As soon as I began to pray, Master of Heaven and Earth, I saw. And he, came, he stood and came forward. An angel. An angel. An angel. It was like a short one, like, uh, like, uh, like Jimmy. Jimmy. And quite as handsome. And he said, Vida. And he said, What about Vida? Vida is going to die in four days. Because through powers, negative powers, uh, it's going to be thunder and uh, he's going to be hit by lightning. He'll be hit by a thunderbolt. So bring him over here to pray. And sacrifice not being in his bed. In her bed. Bring her out of here to pray. And, no, and sacrifice not being in the bed. And and be uncomfortable by fasting, sacrificing food, enduring, enduring not eating food. Fasting is also a sacrifice of some sort. You endure, you endure not eating food. I told her the story. I sang for her a song. Thing that came. Mayute Nikacha Pala Ote Yanya Nuka Yanya Yafiro Manawe Oro Nachi Kakasati Wari Womuro Kosa Inama Kari Tubona Wona Yomani. Some of you don't even know that there's a, a savior working to protect you. And his pain so much in terms of angels being with me so that you may be saved from danger. Praise the Lord. I want to end here. But I want you to just sing that song again that you may look at what I'm preaching in the meaning of the words I put in that song. 
I know you have sacrificed time to sit longer than usual. But also, we are here. But also, Dr. C and I have sacrificed to give you something to eat if you like. Every Sunday. Amen. At the end of the service, you go at the back there and you eat something free. Drink something free. Do, do, do you appreciate it? Now, even for counseling, we've been sacrificing tea for those that were coming in and bread and butter. But now, these days, everything is so hard for me. Amen? Hallelujah. Too many responsibilities. I did not know them, but I was feeding the birds of the field. Amen? Birds of the air. How many of you have eaten of that food of mine? When you come to the counseling. But I did not know you. I look at your faces now that used to come. I don't know you. You just strangers. But you should have the heart of God. You learn to sacrifice. Amen? Don't feed only your family members. Feed others too. God bless. Okay, you can stop there. Now, yesterday I was in a meeting somewhere, town. They wanted to receive impartation, protection of power of God. They had sacrificed because they wanted me to preach for 30 minutes. I had to preach for an hour and a half. So that they may suffer fast before they got blessed. So the man in charge kept on saying, it's getting late, it's getting late. And told them, everybody stand up that we pray. I told them, I began to preach to them as they were standing. Including Pastor Chiwewes. I want him to stand. I want them to, suck, to sacrifice. Then the man said, okay, I told them, sit down a little bit. That told him, I've got more things to say. I did not leave, leave them until it was about two hours. One and a half. Then after that, they were ready to receive God's power. And they received. I was waiting for a vision. And then I saw the Lord. He was like a son. Amen? Amen. And surrounded by a huge light. A circle of light. Those were angels. And below the, that circle was a, dark, a darkness. That was also a kind of making a circle around. 
That circle was a circle of darkness, a circle of demons. Ready to attack the people below. All of you and us who are at the lowest level. So I told them when the Lord was sending me, he told me to read Isaiah 60. It begins, it, it begins arise and shine. For your light has come. So I saw the light for the first time that way. So I told them, raise your hands. For your light is going to shine upon you. And I told them to raise their hands. And for a long time, I had to make them sacrifice. Hand up. They began to shed tears of some kind. Some of them pretended they were in the spirit. So they were crying in the spirit. <laughs> So it was because, but it was because of the pain in the hands. <laughs> Amen. And I told them <laughs> the reason <laughs> why I had to do that. <laughs> and I told them the light will not, will not <laughs> blow out. Won't be switched off. So raise your hands. So they raised their hands. I was also raising my hands. I felt being hurt a little bit. So I asked Pastor Roland to come and hold my hands at the back. So that I may bless. <laughs> Praise the Lord. How many of you We hold my hands that I may do the things of the Lord? <laughs> and Pastor Roland held my hands. Otherwise, the blessing was not going to be possible. Otherwise, so right now, I'm asking you, Pastor Sam, come and hold my hands at the back. At the back, God bless you. Raise your hand too. And understand the meaning of what I'm doing now. Moses also whose hands were Put, were, were supported by some people and then the people were able to win, win the war. Now I'm raising these hands for Israel too. So it's going to be for a long time. If you feel that pain, let somebody behind you come and support you. Pastor, come here. Come and help her. Pastor Prosi Ajakuyamba Kumami. She's a very good woman. Mchala Mnonjinyo. Yesterday she washed my feet. Olunakuluwa Joya Nazizev Gerebiange. This morning she washed my head, my hair. If you hold those hands of hers, she will continue to be a blessing to me. The, the Calvary Square sing. Calvary Cross Choir Pastor Kaungu is say that's too long a song. <laughs> Come forward and sing. Jimmy, come and hold, hold uh, Sam's hands as well because the, <laughs> Pastor Sam, Pastor Sam drinks a lot of milk. Musumba Samo and Yanya Mata, the Mikono Simi Gumobo Lunch. Okay. 
Think of a choir. for Israel that they may be able to not be wiped out that they won't be wiped out the children of Jacob shall not be finished because you are the same yesterday, today and tomorrow I also pray for these ones here that we protect them too, bless them. Bless the sacrifices. And even the ministers who are serving you diligently without excuse. Come rain, come sunshine, they're serving you. Then ministers, the choir members, the the worship team, the different little organs in the church. The interpreter, I need this woman will be interpreting. I know her voice was wavering, but all the same, she has gone on. Father, bless them. For I know they will never give up. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you, but I'm also asking Pastor Kaungez to come for and say a few things. Hallelujah. Sacrifice, sacrifice, yes. And others write checks, whatever. Send mobile money. Do your sacrifices. Do your sacrifice that you endure. You endure the pain. 
that may understand the sacrifice of Jesus. Amen.